In this video, we are diving deep into DV5's latest feature, Loop Builder, which is all about making dynamic content a breeze right inside your DV Visual Builder. And we are going to cover everything about what Loop Builder is, how it works, and how it can simplify your workflow. So if all that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. Now, if you want to deep dive in Divi Loop Builder and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post. I'm sure you will find it really helpful. So what's the deal with Divi 5 Loop Builder? It's a fresh feature that lets you create dynamic looping designs without ever leaving your visual builder. Whether you are showing off blog posts, WooCommerce products or custom post types, Loop Builder turns any Divi element into customizable loop. So it's time to forget being stuck with static boring modules. This tool hands you the reins to craft unique layout with custom queries all styled with DV's drag and drop magic. It's freedom, flexibility and no code required. Alright, let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how we can use Loop Builder in DV5. So here we are inside our DV5 Visual Builder and here we can see different examples of Loop Builder. First, we have the very common custom post grid and then we have an author grid and then we have a custom post type grid. So let's cover all the three one by one. So let's start with our block grid. So I'll start by adding a new section. And for this one, I'm going to choose a three column layout. And first, I'll go to my row settings. And in the design, I'll make sure the layout style is flex and the layout is directional to row and I'll make sure the content is justifies to start and stretch to the height of my row and I'll make sure that I turn on wrapping. Once that is done, I'll come back to content and I have already copied the styling of these columns so I'm just going to paste it here like this. And then I'll go to one of my column. And then here we have a new option. It says loop. Let's click on this. And we are going to turn this on. This is going to start the loop of this column. And once we turn this on, this is going to enable the loop builder. And then we can customize it using all these settings. Right now we can come back here and remove the two columns because we have already selected a three column layout and we are going to loop only the first column. Once that is done, now we can go ahead and add different elements. Starting with, we are going to click on this and add an image. As you can see, as soon as we add image in one column, it got looped on all the columns that we have added here. Now, instead of this placeholder image, we want to show the feature image of our blog post, as you can see here in this grid. So for that, we go to our image options here. And if we zoom in a little bit, we have the dynamic content section here. Let's click on this. And here we got some option for dynamic content for loop. And here we have loop feature image. Let's select that. And it already fetched our feature image. Now the reason it by default fetched the blog post feature image is that let's come back here in our column. And if we go to loop, it by default selected the query type as post. We can go ahead and switch it as terms and users, which we have covered a few minutes ago, what these other options are. So we have the post type selected already. So we got the thumbnails of our post showing here. Once that is done, now it's time to add the post title. So for that, we will add another module. We will choose heading and we will first do a little bit of designing. So we go to design heading text. We will choose H3 and maybe we can play around with the fonts and all. But let's make it at least bold and we will choose the size as 16. 
and now right now it's just showing the static text we come back here to our content section and this heading text we are again going to link it to a loop dynamic content we click on this dynamic content icon and now we got a lot of options and from here we are going to select loop post title which is going to fetch the title of our blog post next we are going to add a text module and here we want to show our author name so we select this we again go back to our dynamic content and we are going to choose author and from here we are going to choose loop author so it's going to select the author name and here are the different authors that we have used for creating these blog posts now we can go ahead and add a text before and after this loop content and here's the option we can just type in written by or maybe just by and a colon so it shows this text before our dynamic content now if you want we can go ahead and turn this link name option and it's going to link this particular text to our author archive page or we can go to author website which is actually added in the wordpress backend so we keep it on author archive page and let's click on apply after this let's duplicate this text only and this time we are going to add the category name so again we are going to choose the dynamic content and instead of author loop we are going to select loop post terms which is our category so let's select this so here it's showing all the categories and again we can type in the text which will appear before or after this content so we can just type in posted in and this is how it's going to look and once again we can link it to our taxonomy page and click on apply now our blog post grid is almost ready let's come back here in the column and inside loop we need to check out few different options that we have we go down to post per page and we will select six post per page if we want to do any offset we can add the number here but it looks perfectly fine and here is our grid now we can go ahead and do all the styling to remove all these gaps and make it look something like this so this is how we can create our custom blog post grid using the div5 loop builder now let's come back here in our div5 visual builder and this time we are going to create this grid for our author layout again we are going to use all the settings that we have used for creating our blog grid so let's start by adding our section we are again going to use three column layout and we are going to paste our styling for these columns and we go to one column and then turn on our loop and we can get rid of the two columns and this time we are going to add image but before that we go to row and then we go to design in layout we need to fix the wrapping like this and we come back here in our column and for the loop we are going to select post per page as three and now in the query type we are going to select users this time and we have users as administrator and editor and contributor so you can select what type of users you want to show here then we are going to start adding the content in this so let's start by adding our image first and we are going to again use the dynamic content and we are going to select avatar for our users so here you can see all the images are showing up here if you want we can go ahead and add any text but we don't want in this case so let's click on apply and we go to design and we can play around with sizing so you can choose any sizing as you wish so let's say we choose this one and maybe we will align this to center 
And for the border, let's say we go ahead and add 20 pixel here. So this is going to be our feature images. And now let's go ahead and add a heading. And we go to design. Let's customize it a little bit. Let me just go ahead and copy the style from here only. So I just right click here, copy attributes and right click here and then paste attribute. And I'm going to paste the design attributes for this heading tag. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we come back here in our content section. And for the heading text, we're again going to click on this dynamic content and we are going to choose display name for showing the author name here. So let's select that. And as you can see, we can also choose different options like email, username and other fields. In the same way, we are going to add some text and we are going to replace this using our dynamic content and we are going to use bio and description. So now we have the bio for our authors showing here. All right, so back again in our DV5 visual builder and this time we are going to create this custom post type grid. We got our custom post images as feature image. We have the title and we also have some custom fields. So let's see how we can build this. Again, we start by adding a new row. We are going to choose three column layout and we're going to select our row. We go to design and we are going to do the same settings once again. Let me just go ahead and paste the column styles. And we are going to select first column and then turn on the loop. Now it's time to add our images first. So we go to this plus and then start adding our image. But before that, we need to change the post type. So we come back here and we go to the settings for this column. And for the loop, instead of post type as post, we are going to select homes. The why homes? Because if we go back here in our WordPress backend, we have installed ACF plugin and with that we have created custom post type as home and in this we have different field group and in this we have a field group if we click on edit we have floors bathrooms bedrooms so all these custom fields will be fetched in our loop as well so we are going to create this grid for our custom post type homes Let's come back here and we have selected our post type as home. And now we are going to choose post per page, maybe three. And for the image, let's go ahead and fetch the dynamic content. This time we are going to see the feature image. Let's select that and boom. This time it didn't fetch the feature image for blog post. It automatically fetched the feature image for our custom post type. Now, once again, we are going to add a heading here. And let me just go ahead and copy the styles. And we click here and again, go back to the dynamic content and we can see the loop post title here. So we select that and it automatically fetched the title of our post that we can see if we go in the custom post type these are the titles that we have given. Coming back again, let's add another module and this time we are going to add text. Let me just add a margin here so that we can move things a little bit up. All right, now this one looks much better. And for this one, we are going to select our module. And for the content, we want to show this custom field here. So let's again go to dynamic content. And now this time we are going to select 
loop post custom field so we click on this and here we need to select the meta key here so we select this and now we see all the custom fields that we have created for this custom post type so first let's select floors and you can see it's working and fetched all the custom post type data that we have entered while creating these custom post types but instead of these numbers we are also going to add text before this so we are going to add floor as the text and that's how it's going to fetch the custom fields as well in the same way we can fetch both of these fields as well so this is how we can create a custom grid for our custom post type so there you have it db5 loop builder is your ticket to craft amazing looking dynamic websites with ease from blog grids to product showcase to custom grid layouts it's all about giving you the total control and save you a lot of time so should you use it if you want flexibility efficiency and smoother workflow absolutely go ahead and download db5 public alpha today and try it yourself and let us know in the comment section below how it's working for you we can't wait to hear about your creations and if you like this video then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community and for more videos like this and dev updates make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video understanding db5 loop builder settings now loop builder in db5 let you create dynamic sections on your website by fetching and displaying various type of content based on your specific criteria let's go over each settings so you have a better understanding of what they do and how to use them